We have activated the Florida National Guard. Uh, they are activating 2,500 guardsmen at the moment. And, and if there is a need for more, then we could do more. A new at 5, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is activating members of the National Guard ahead of Tropical Storm Ian. And DeSantis making that announcement during a press conference this afternoon, saying even if that storm weakens, it will have a significant impact on Floridians. And today, we even learned volunteers with the Red Cross of Eastern North Carolina are signing up to help. Anthony Wilson speaking to local officials about the disaster response plan. The region already recovering from Hurricane Fiona now braces for another meteorological punch. Tropical storm Ian looks intense as it moves closer to Florida. We are out of water, folks. No water. People there are preparing for the worst as Red Cross workers from my area Volunteer. stand by. We're only going to send a, a certain number of volunteers forward on the first level from the viewing area because we are concerned that we may have to do some mass care relief efforts, sheltering, uh, loss of power, things of that nature that might happen in our area. That's why they're also mindful of potential problems here. If powerful winds and intense rain cause damage like this, closer to home. We've got to think forward and then also plan in reverse for making sure we keep our own community safe. So while Floridians clear store shelves of supplies like plywood, generators, and other essentials, now's the time to make sure you have an emergency kit packed and ready in case you need it later. Anthony Wilson, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.